So he's going with the flip. Hmm. Okay. You got to. Yeah, but it's just I, like, It's so cheap. I mean, what did it cost him? It cost him two force. Yeah, totally. Oh, what do you do here? That finalizer looks so scrubby. Yeah, but he doesn't He's have. got the barrier. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if I were Charlie, I'd be a little worried right now because you got a slow start to begin with. And there's huge and now, pressure and coming now there's here. Huge pressure. Yeah, that's tough. Hmm. Hmm. Steve Baroni's back. Yeah, we um, couldn't give you the Joels, and he, he got beat by Charlie. Yes, uh, Chris Kelly's deck, every card that could be white-bordered is white-bordered. He printed his V-slip with a uh, black border. Which one's black border? The V-slip. V-slip, uh, I think that's because the OCS foil. Oh. Steve, I don't know your number. So someone else in the forum or in the chat will have to text you. All right, so he's going to come down. Um, he doesn't have a barrier canceller, though. Yeah. It'd be better if he did. It'd be a lot better if he did. Yeah, so it's, this is just going to get barriered. It doesn't matter. Ozzel's sitting on the thing. He's not going to initiate with just home one anyhow, is he? Um, Who's the guy on the ship? Yeah, you draw high. Um, if you draw, if you, if, I, I'd risk it. If you drew greater than, um, I think it's only immune less four. than four here, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, guess so. Yeah, I'd, 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 at this point, I'd, I'd go. Y you got to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. If you clear it, that if that means he has to pay for all of his swing, damage. We know it's not going to happen, but... Yeah, the only thing that's crazy here is he's going to drop home one. Mm -hmm. It's going to get barriered. Oh, and then next no. turn, he's going to get trained for two, four, or five. He's going to lose seven. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he has no force left. Oh, this this sucks for Charlie. Yeah, Charlie's feeling the pain. Because he doesn't have enough force now to go beat up Hux. Like, and Hux is, <laughs> Hux is going to insultingly drain for two there. All right. Uh, mean less than five. Yeah, so I'd risk it drop five. Ooh, ooh. And now the finalizer just plays the runaway game yeah, anyhow. It is the runaway game. Yep. Good for him. That means it stays in space the whole time. Yeah. And he's got a foothold on Cloud City now. Pay for drains. Whoa, this is gonna this is gonna be a tough one. This is tough for Charlie. Yeah, and when you whiff overseer early, it's really bad. Yeah. Blasters. I do like them. I know Chris Chris Gogolin's also playing it. Um, Reed Reed's is playing, playing a blaster deck. Reed is playing Rops first order blasters that doesn't flip. Um, so at least three of the top eight are, are first order blasters of some type. All right, so he moves. So Charlie moves. Uh, Akbar. Yeah, I guess in the, in the chat there about uh, going early for the drain or for the battle. Probably right, but I'm a risk taker. I take risks. 
Well, that, that card's going to get oh. peeled off the deck real soon. Okay, moving that over there. Okay. What are you going to do, Charlie? Okay, so this is this turn is rough. Um, yeah, this is a rough turn. This is a rough turn. So it's drained for two, two, one, and then ping for two. So this what, is... What, is that the drain cancel site? That is not the drain cancel site. Uh, the drain cancel site is that two, one site. He has it yeah. in his hand. But he didn't have enough to put it out and, like, back it up. Do you know what I mean? It might have still been worth it. The deploy is plus one. Not that that's a big deal, but... No, especially with troopers. It's just not. It's just not. So he takes Rose from the force pile. Chris Kelly's got to be uh, pretty feeling, happy. Pretty, feel, feeling pretty good. Feeling yeah. like a million bucks right now. Hey. And it's a free drain, too. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, it's all free. It's all free. Ping for two. I think this means he has the it's a hit because he didn't move away. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I saw it in the hand, but um, so the reason the reason I don't think he moved away is uh, presumably next turn. Um, so this turn, Kelly is going to move in front of yeah Bespin. Bespin, and he has like a Corvette in his hand. He gets a power destiny with um, so there goes the resistance agent. And he gets a power destiny with um, uh, Hark, which means no retrieval. <laughs> He has BB-8 in his hand. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, he just lost his BB-8. Oh, what? So I guess you're not... We're thinking about celebration this game. Oh, that stinks. So now drain of one, two... So you wouldn't have broke the immunity. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think the BB-8, that was, um, I'm not willing to play for the long game right now, mistake. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't celebrating. Our <laughs> drinks, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> oh... I mean, you could look at the board state, and you can just tell it's it's. Uh, oh wow! Okay. I don't even know how many cards Charlie's down to. He looks like he's lost hmm. a bunch. It looks like he's at fourteen. Wow! Wow! That's just my guess. We'll see when he activates. He's got a crap ton of cards in his hand. Though. He does have a, still a good number of cards in good his hand. Good number of cards in his hand. Yep. Well, that's because he had draw for the first three turns of the game. Mm -hmm. Looking at Kelly's deck, pretty generic map. Dark time for the rebellion in there. Obviously for the um, throne room matchup. Let's see if he stacks an interrupt, the imperial supply, and then gets a hundred more, gets four more force, and goes to town somewhere. Okay, so he backs up. Backs up Huck, so that's going to be good for a while. Now it's a, now it's a little bit more uh, daunting to go fight it. All right, so this is Charlie, or this is Charlie's chance to blow him out of space here. Uh, stack and interrupt. Yeah, this is Charlie's chance. I don't even know if he can there. Yeah, look at look at what he's got in his hand. He's got he's got a. Uh... Right. What do you do about the the command? So he's there's. Oh, it's not. not a, it's not. A, it's not. Yep. Yeah, no, that's good. I just didn't see a way for him to draw multiple <laughs> destinies in his hand, though. That's. That's the only downside here. Yeah, he's only got the one to power. Yeah, if he doesn't blow him out of space here, I think he just drew... 
Um, I didn't know if he dropped <coughs> through a Thrawn in there. I couldn't see clearly. All right, so Charlie goes down to one card. So we get to see his destiny at least. Uh, would this even play spin? Yeah, he had a spin. I think he lost it. But, but he, like, I'm looking at his hand. Okay, he's so going through his force pile. I don't even see a way he can get a second destiny. There's a celebration. You need to get that. I mean, how are you going to get two sites, though? I mean, yeah, you can't retrieve, even if it has Oh, yeah, you're right. If he threw away his BB-8. Yush, yush, yush. This is a tough one. Took the sight. Yeah. Jerry. Oh, oh, such a great destiny, too. And a one for his destiny. Oh, good point about Hujik's combo to add a destiny. Um, but he only has one destiny. Whew. This is... Yeah, that's just... That destiny of one there. He didn't even have one to power, so he clearly wasn't planning on... Yeah. ...initiating anyhow. That's true. Is it only defending right? I don't even remember what Out of Nowhere says. I think yes. it's only defending. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. You get Obi. Now we could now put out Celebrate the, um, and change for uh, uh, Ray. Get Ray going here if you want to change two cards. Yeah. So he hooks the command. He's going to go grab PV, it looked like. Yep. God, I love Mad Maps so good. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> this is not Jemp. That's funny. That's a funny comment. This 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 is why you play Throne Remains, because everything just feels better when you have Luke and Saber out. Try Alt F4. Yeah, you should definitely do that. All right. Uh... Yeah, this is it's tough. I don't even know what Charlie does here, to be honest with you. Um, whiffing with that Destiny 1 there against the finalizer was not good. He couldn't even been trying. He couldn't even been trying. He would have had to save one for power. Yeah, this just even if he had a way to. Yeah, poor Charlie. All right, change two cards. Grab and Ray. Awesome. So you have enough for Ray. Yep. I think he had Rose in his hand. Yep. So that helps a little. But yeah, now we can retrieve. I even forgot what all that four does when you press it. Is it close? Does it closes the active window? Close the active window. Okay. All right, so Charlie, what is he grabbing? What is he grabbing? Hujix out of nowhere? Hujix out of nowhere. He's on the top there. Oh, I don't know what you're thinking, Charlie. I wish I could say. Uh, 
I mean, he can't really even get three Destiny. The guy's going to play another command. He clearly has another. Oh, he took a keep your eyes... Um, keep your eyes open. Okay. So you can keep Ray on the table? So that he can get the celebration going? Uh. I think that's another two force loss, right? All right, so at this point now, he's he's mitigated some of the damage. So it's a drain of two, cancel, drain of one, and then ping two. So it's still five cards. Yeah. Ah, uh, and that's mitigating. And that, you know, like that's canceling. Oh, uh, drain. Yeah, that's just... Oh, map blasters are so strong. That was just super quick. One thing goes wrong, and... It's over. I am, uh, oh, Johnny Chu joining us. Uh, yeah, he did beat Joe. I don't even know what Joe's playing. And I am biased about Map Blasters. But how could you not be? I mean, look at this game state. And as this, okay, so we just drained the ping, drain for one. Cancel. Uh, cancel the drain for two, and then the other drain for two. Joe played Hunt Down for Dark Side. Interesting. Hit Cohen Hunt Down. Wow, I would not have thought that. Oh, as this quick sidebar, Johnny Chu, thank you for telling me to start Charlie Morton. This is going to be a pretty large whooping, too. Yeah, I mean, so it's drain of one and one. Oh, man. Charlie, this this stinks. It was just, he just came out so fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So I put a point man in my... Um, uh, map deck recently. So if he has a point man here, then that you got to have more than that, my friend. Do you have another blaster? That doesn't seem like a strong enough force there. That's a good point with Kylo. Didn't even think about that. No, he is not with Kylo. Um, yeah, he's in space, so no. PV, PV there? Okay. I guess he's assuming there's no other space to come. Um, yep, yeah, another he, blaster. Okay. He doesn't care about space. He can just walk away after this turn. Yeah. What do you care? Yeah, Charlie doesn't have anything to come bring the uh, bring the uh, beats. Yeah, you're gonna beat up the finalizer with a Corvette. All right. So does he have? He did not battle. He did not battle. That's you know I'm gonna. So you know why I don't like that play right there. Um. Uh, no, I take that back because now it prevents him from canceling the force chain. I like that play. I take that back. I like that play a lot. So I think I think Kelly's going to win fifteen to twenty. This time, so. maybe huh. yeah, maybe not. So keep two destiny. You got to drop Hera. Um, keep your eyes open. I hope those two destinies are good. <laughs> Take a card. 
card. Who, what do you take in there? Mirax. No Rose. Hmm. Yeah. All right, he takes Rose from the force pile. Presumably he wants to start some type of retrieval. Yeah, I saw it at the beginning of some movie. Just land on a planet and start shooting a bunch of little aliens. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, Barrier is the Corvette. This is why I think you needed PV in space. He allowed you to play the run around game a little bit more safer. Safely. Safely. My wife believes there's a war on adverbs, and I've got to help her out. More safely. Sorry. How about he would be safer? That so would work. In space. So that he would be safer. That's a well Correcting uh, Matt's English, now the highlight of my commentary on this game. So I, 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 I do have two master's degrees. None of them are in English. I have two less than you, neither of which are in English. Okay. All right. Okay. Put, put me in my place. Your place is in the Hall of Fame, Matt Sokol. <laughs> That's where I'm putting you, buddy. I don't know what Charlie does here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with he loses. <laughs> I mean, the Yoda play there is okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. You know what? I went to public schools. That explains my... Yeah, John Bullington teaches at one of those public schools, as far as I can tell. That, that explains everything. That, that I uh, went to. Yeah, <laughs> that explains everything. All right. Um, okay, so... <laughs> All right, great. Slowly Excellent. Slowly getting a better board game state. So the Yoda gamble there, assuming he can't hit him, and he has no nothing else to bring the beats with. Um, Does he even care? He's still doing three, f three to He's still doing one. Uh, uh, plus the ping, you're forgetting. So pings for two. Oh, no, I two. forgot the drain. Well, yeah. no. Oh, because yeah. he can't cancel the drain now. Yeah, Map, Blast Map Blasters doesn't generally play in Ellis. Um, I haven't seen, at least I haven't seen many lists with them. Um, and I don't know why. It's a good card in that deck. It's just a tight list, though, too. Map Blasters. Alright, so... Kelly's Kelly's thinking. Ping's for two. Ping, ping. Ping a ping a me. Ping, ping. Charlie's gotta be getting low. Two rescues off the top. Ouch. Ouchers. Drain for one. Yeah, this just didn't go his way. And then drain for two. No, you gotta control Charlie. Yeah, I can't cancel that. Yeah, so what is what is he looking like? He has like a ten ish there, his left. Plus his hand. Uh, what would I lose if I were you? Uh, the rescue. game. Rescue. Yeah. Oh, and there goes his Hoojix. Okay, so he loses Hoojix. Let's hope Kelly doesn't have um, the beats in his hand. I don't remember seeing what he had in his hand. 
for the Yoda there. Yeah, you can basically play all the cards from your hand because you're only going to be losing one a turn. Yeah, Kelly only has a few cards in his hand. Kylo, Shuttle, and Red. Okay, so he doesn't have to beat down against Yoda. Doesn't really want to risk battling at the... Uh, at the 2-1 four-strand canceler Cloud City site. I guess he felt the need to put PV there with him. Uh, PV in space would be so much better right now. So what do you do, Kelly? What do you do? You don't want to drop too much because you know you're going to win, so you want to keep a good amount of force. Um, he's going to back up Yoda uh, next turn. That's So this is this is what I think Kelly's thinking. All right, I'm backing up Yoda. Oh, he's sniper dark striking. Okay. I like this play. So that's a four, and then the guys reach minus. Yep, yep, okay. So he flips. He could stack a card. Yep, okay. I like that play. Um, no guys in his hand to back up. So you, you got to assume he's going to lose lose um, space next turn, unless Charlie draws low. So a bunch of just random cards in his force pile. You don't move in front of... You don't move in front of home one. So you risk it over there. Yeah. Your Gek is in your deck. Um, LCB. I don't, I don't know, know who LCB he is. is for. Laser Cannon Battery. Oh, Laser Cannon Battery. I didn't know if he plays one. Uh, he hasn't seen it yet, then. Uh, do you battle? I think you battle. You go against Obi right here. You battle Obi. You've got the sniper. If the game state stays, you just use it. All right, so four force the shuttle. Oh, okay, so he puts the shuttle there. Yeah, he's going to keep space just fine. Um, yeah, battle Obi. Do it, Kelly. Come on. Yep. Yep, you still had to think that was coming. Does he have the key? Uh, oh, trooper salt. Okay. Do you limit him or add one here? Probably limit him. You limit him because... And then because KFC can cancel, can, right? Right, if you each drew one, yep. Unless, uh, does virtual say you can't cancel it? Uh, yeah, it is virtual, yeah. Yep. Alright, so let's see how this battle goes. Dun, 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 destiny. Yep. Yeah, you can cancel. All right, so he drew a trooper, I think, there. And ah. he pays one. He draws a four. Um, I, 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 it looks like he added a destiny there. Instead of... Uh, I don't actually don't know what he did there. Just... Um, Well, that's going to be... I don't know why... Did he, he must have drew two destinies there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I thought he had Phasma there. He doesn't have Phasma. Yeah, so he added. He used it to add a destiny. And then he lost a card to draw because he was flipped. Oof. Oof. So he drew a 7 or 8 for Destiny, so he's going to lose PV, and uh, I would think Dr. E. Nope, okay, yep, nope. 
That's better. Yeah, still gets his destiny that way. Smart. This is not good for Charlie. <laughs> Seems to be a common reoccurring issue. Common, common theme here. Yeah. He got out to such a bad start. And, um... Yeah, he needed to flip on turn two. Yeah, he needed to flip turn two. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, it's just a how many thing. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like, uh... Space battle. That's interesting. I like that, that he battled there. Oops. Yeah. Battled in space. He had to lose Hark Seth. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Jared. As someone who's recently come around the map, I love it. It's also why I think you play Throne Room. I think Throne Room does well against map, or can do well against map. So, Jared's... Jar Jar drinks. No, he lost his first game by zero. They tied the first game, which means they tied the second game as well. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't know what happened. Jared, Jared uh, you saw you lost to Salucci by zero. <laughs> no, I lost legit. Okay. Game one. All right, so game state. Oh. Not... Um, going to be a good win for Charlie. Cancels the drain of one. And he's got a ton of cards in his hand, too. That was the score for game one. And then he scooped, so there was no score in game two. All right, Charlie. I don't know what you do here, man. Nothing good. Bummer. Be interesting to see what the next matchup is, at least, though. Well, the next matchup is Map versus Hitco. Map versus Hitco? Oh, okay. They both played Map. <laughs> Does Hitco do well against Map? I don't know. Hitco does not do well against Map, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so he, you know what he's doing here? He is trying to force drain a little, bring the diff down. That's all he's doing. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, the map shenanigans, uh, the clash shenanigans. I play two clashes in my main decks. Tell me, Matt Sokol, are you a big fan of two clashes in the? I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I I hate to say it. Throne room deck. I am a big fan of the the double, double clash. clash. <laughs> I've heard of that. Now, for those of you into punk rock, maybe you're big fans of the clash, but <laughs> Matt's fans of the double clash. I'm a fan of the double clash. All right, so let's see. He's going to get hit with uh, five cards here. Uh, so Kelly is tracking for his sniper um, to perhaps end the game here. 
Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I would try to sniper Obi here and just put the game out of out of play. Yeah, it seems about twenty. So he just pinged for two. I wonder what he's waiting for now. He's going to drain for two. Yeah, he do does double sleeve. Um, he has a fair amount of cards on the table. Not too many, actually. All right, drain of one next. Two. Yeah, now if he, if he hits with a sniper here... Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, th then I'll drain for two. Charlie has two cards left. Oh, but yeah, right. That right. Way. In terms of like the diff, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because he can just lose from hand. Yeah. Hey, oh, there you go. If he's got a guy in his hand, he can just cancel the drain anyhow. Lose from hand doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. So for those who might have missed it, uh, I mean. Chris just it was Chris Chris got lucky what 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 dictated the the flow of this game was he was able he had a Kylo in his hand first turn um which he only played two so that generally doesn't happen and he was able to go Kylo to the to Cloud City first turn and and, and that just swung the whole um it just made the game different Okay so he passed away Pass in front of Kylo. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he went back to the uh, <laughs> guest chamber. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, it's not even tough. It's just not. Yeah. Thing. <sighs> no. We're good. Thank We're you, good. Scott. Yeah. Oh, shuttle brings down his guy. Yeah. GG. No damage. He'll just lose his cards from his hand. Why did he do all that then? I'm unsure. He could have just stayed there. You knew what his power was. You know your forefoot covers it. Yeah. He has no cards. One force. <laughs> I like how Charlie activated his force there. Whoop, draws up. Yeah. All right. We'll go get a we'll go get a total for you and be right back for the uh, second game. Um, but it. All right, Chris Kelly by 19. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pause, let him clean up. Um, I'll go get some updates from the other games.
Yes, my mic was muted there. That's hilarious. Um, so I've been talking and no one's been listening to me but myself. So here's what I've been saying. Um, that's so funny. Um, I don't know why this version is better than um, Map Blasters. And I also am super curious why um, why this deck does well against Hitco. Um, yeah, unknown. But thank you for pointing out my mic there. Appreciate that. And I also said, um, getting an update, um, Reed lost his first game to Gogolin by 10. That was the only game I was able to get, it, had time to get an update on. All right, so what do you do here? I'm looking at his deck here. There's Kylo Saber in there. Oh, it's got some sack in there. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Know. This deck seems very, very standard. Very, very standard build. Doesn't look like there's too many tricks in there. So it must just be a board control deck. Um, weird. So he's got to keep this. Kelly's got to keep this game um, within 20, or, or or only lose by 18 or less. Hmm. Okay. Both of them play in the Imperial Supply version. Command after he activates, okay. He keeps searching in there. <laughs> oh no! Did he command to nobody? That's embarrassing. No Thrawn's in there. No, he did. What? Oh no! It's it's the other the other the new Thrawn. Interesting. Oh, okay. There you go. And not grab the Star Killer base site. Just talked to a gentleman named Jay. His first. You're good. I forgot to unmute my mic. Go ahead. Sorry. His first Star Wars tournament in his life was today. Nice. How did he like it? He played his first game 14 years ago. <laughs> he played his most recent game uh, in a local event uh, with you, Matt Sokol. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. Two months, a month and a half ago, one of your locals yes, down yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. I met Jay. Yeah, there. Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then he showed up today and uh, yep. played and said he had a good time. That's good. I guess this is why you do the um, Endor Shield version because you can shuttle up Ozzel. Yeah, and occupy both already. Yeah. Kelly did have the, the Tanib in his hand, so that's good. Phasma. Okay, backing that up. How many cards are on the table turn one? Did um, a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Language. I was just reading John's post. Oh. So I guess I, I'm not a big fan of the supplies, but uh, seeing them in action today, they're really good. They're, they are not bad. So it looked like he wanted to grab Hux there. I didn't see who he took, though. Um, 
Yeah, I can't see who we took with this uh, um, bow pull, but. Okay, Spectre comes out. Uh, does he take off? Uh, he is. Yep. Yep, he's pushing. Drain a three next turn. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. I like how I like I like how they're playing the maps. Wisa gonna go grab his two two now. <laughs> nice. Oh wow, thank you. Yes, Look at that. <laughs> we got some miscut cards here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very nice. Let's go with my black cards. Very, very nice. Right now, uh my mom is framing uh a Java's Palace card list that was signed by all the world final day three players for 2010 nice what year was that was that that that, 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 was that was the year that we all the the four of us from albany went okay wow and we all got it how many of us top four top eight did that uh, year? me oh no that's what i'm saying it was me you john and chris gotcha top eight did that year all right so let's see what kelly does here kelly gets one two three four five six Seven, eight. Uh, am I counting that right? Three from the chamber. Four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight. So, doesn't really can't come to space because we we know he doesn't have the profundity. Um, you can't mess with Kylo there that turn. I mean, that's a sick ground sight right there. That he's just going to be draining for two for a long time there. Um. Mm, yeah. It's good pressure. Good pressure. Seems familiar. Seems familiar. Yeah. Last game. Good pressure. Chris was saying that this was a a better matchup for for um throne room than it is for Hitco. Yeah. And you can kinda see that. You know, if he had thrown out a couple couple two oh sites first turn with throne room, you might not be doing this. You know, people have been listening to me for about uh, 10 hours today. No. I, uh, okay. We didn't got projection. That's good. Know how pro throne room I am. Oh, no, there's some sights. Yeah. I guess that's why people like um, Hitco. It's a little bit more consistent, so he's drawing. Yeah, but uh, you're right, uh, Gamer Girl. As soon as um, Prophecy is moving, and if... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dough man? Uh, is it Clayton? I'm just curious. But I do remember I just, uh, yeah, yeah, Clayton. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. I do remember our conversation, and you were th thinking between that and OA, and I'm like, Thorn him, why would you play anything else? <laughs> All right, so he's getting drained for one and one here. Let's see if they remember that prophecy moves. Yep, okay, Kelly does. Kelly does it for him. He's a solid guy for doing that. Or maybe he wants the extra force for next turn. How does it change the force? Well, adds an icon to both sides. Didn't add an icon to his. Oh, well, only at Battlegrounds? Only, yeah, it doesn't or add it at the chamber. Gotcha. I do know a few of the cards. Thank God. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's another good reason not to play today. I would have had to read all this stuff. Yeah. Reading is hard. All right, so he casts... Um, yep, so he casts... Um, supply activates an extra four cards. I mean, this is solid right here. So Kelly's going to have to answer somehow. Puts FN down. Oof. All right, so now he's got a drain of two and two. And uh, fairly well stacked. Yep. He can go grab, um, with Hux, he can go grab the strategic reserves. So if... Um, he goes somewhere else. He goes somewhere else. Hmm. So looking at his hand, he has a Luke in there. Um... He's got the Tanif to go to Starkiller Base. Hmm. Supply with the flip has been really, really good. It's been really, really good. <laughs> supply. Throwing him just grab supply and LOLs. So that's funny. Hmm. All right, Kelly. Kelly's got to think here, right? Because you don't want it to start snowballing. Charlie's playing it really well. He's just sitting and bunkering. So looking, Kelly's going into his deck, probably looking for Docking Bay. He's probably checking for Luke Saber, which is not in there. Uh, I don't know how many clashes he plays, but his one clash is in there. Um... How many would you think he should be playing, Matt? I, I'm wondering at you, this point in the day. Are wondering in this opinion how many clashes of Sabres I think everyone should play? Uh -huh. um, Anybody in the audience have any idea what Matt's answer is? Uh, more than one. Uh -huh. Less than three. Uh -hmm. <laughs> I assume these are all integers from Matt Sokol. You familiar with that? Positive, yeah. Positive integers? Yeah, positive non-zero so like, integers. So like natural numbers? Is that what you're saying? Like a natural number, Matt Sokol? This is what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. There's no, uh... Today's math talk brought to you.